welcome to Ison Beat channel. So today we're not giving out the usual free beat. So one of my subscriber said one of my subscribers said I should um run a tutorial you know to help the upcoming producers you know on some basic things that they need to you know know using the FL Studio software. So basically I work with the FL Studio software and I know a lot of upcoming producers are using the FL Studio software so for those of you that are into FL Studio, uh, FL Studio um, software this particular tutorial is for you so today I will I want to be showing you guys how you can create the uh, the normal alpha pop uh, drum line that's what I just want to start with. We're going to be doing it episode by episode. So, um, I'll start with this for today. The drum line. Now you can create a simple drum. Um, the pom pom drum, you know, which is trending right now, right now in the Afro pop music industry, in the Nigerian music industry, as per se. And um, so, that's what we're going to do today. And um, if you've been having difficulty, now you should select your sound, or you can select your sound, or select um, you no, know, or you can make the normal you no know, alpha pop drum drum line. Um, this video is gonna be a very simple and short tutorial for you to understand. So basically, um, the the normal pom pom drum line, or basically goes with between the tempo of 180 so um i'll 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 keep it on i'll keep my tempo on 100 so i'll go ahead and just um drop the tempo down to 100 um this is the first thing you should you should do when you want to start making beat now it's very very important this is the first thing you should do setting your tempo first if you don't set your tempo, you will have a mismatch in your timing. So it is very essential and important that you set your tempo. So I'm setting my tempo on 100. So I'll turn on my pendulum. It helps a lot. You know, to, you know, depending on the song, the person is, or what kind of song you are about to produce. You turn on your pendulum and you click play. And you can sing along with the pedal to know if 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 um, your song will actually go into that tempo. So I'll just do that. Alright. Alright, so I think this is definitely what I want. So I will stop that and I can switch it off. Alright, so first of all the kick clap you know, the default arrangement is the kick clap hat, uh, the hi hat and the snare uh, you can change it any way you want it so anything that works for you so for me I basically go with my snare first some people can go with the kick and either way it still works well for you anyone that works well for you that is good alright my my drum kit might be a little bit more different from yours so um. You know, I download some of my drum kits online. You can also check it out online. There are so many free drum kits. All right. So, with that, let's just move on. Let's continue. All right. So I will go ahead and choose. You can go. You can decide to work with clap, uh, and you can also decide to work with a snare. All right. So you have to select a snare that works well for you. You know, I have desires. I don't like harsh snares. Just like some something minimal soft. I think this this will work well for me. So what I will do, I'll just simply right click on it. Now click send to the selected uh, to the selected channel. You know the selected channel right now is this one with that green light. So once I click send to selected channel, definitely it's gonna go down here. All right. So I'll just click send to selected channel all right so uh definitely uh, uh, basically for my own beats i always like to keep my bars at eight 
you know, so it gives me a little more you know, time you know, to, to, to play around with my snares. Even if I want to do a little, little simple drum, drum, you know, tweak in it, I can just play along with it. So I'll just do that. Then I'll just create the pom pom sound. All right. So I think it's very good. These steps. If I let's let me play. Alright, so I think I missed it there, so I think it's this. Alright, that was a little bit more faster. Should be. Yeah, that is it. Alright, so I'm gonna repeat the same step again. You repeat the same step again. Alright. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, okay. <laughs> so the next thing I'll go in my for a kick, I always like to go for a very soft kick, like something like this. Why? Because uh, this is what I like. All right. So I will select this. I'll click on where I want it to be, and I'll now go back to this sound. If I click on it and click send to the selected channel. So. There we have it. I'll leave it at four. Fill each four steps. I'll leave it at four steps. All right. So we have that. So the next thing we need is I maybe probably I can I can mix I can match my snare with a clap. For a clap, so that it will not sound a little, so it will not sound dry. No, then let me go with something soft. So I keep it there. Right click, send to select the channel, and now do what? I can copy this, this, right? Come to the club and then paste it. Alright, so I can reduce the volume to give more room for the snare to sound. Alright, let's go again. Alright, sounds more soft and more relaxed. Combining the two sounds together, then I decide to you know, pull it a little bit to this side, pull it on a little bit to this side. We want it to sound. No, little balance. Or sometimes you can see a little bit there. So, you know, as a, a typical Afro pop sound, um, always comes with percussions or conga. So, I have some percussions here. Hip hop percussion that can also work for that can also work for Afro pop. So I would like I like that sound. Send it there. Um, I try to do a little a little tweak on it as well. Let's let's see. All right, let's see. There you have it. So now we need an Afro pop uh, drum line. Doesn't really need. Doesn't really need um, hi hats. Uh, basically, I go for shakers. So shakers makes it more African. It sounds more African. So I'm gonna go for a shaker.
So there you have it. A simple Apple pop job line. So so at the end of your work, you is also always good for you to name your sound you know, for so that you can easily understand your sound. Um, so what you do, you just rename them. Rename it. Now you can go snare. Can rename this called the kick. All right. Rename this called it clap. Clap. Rename this one. Call it. Call it um. Percussion. So there you have it. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to our channel for more of this video.